Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm going to share with you a quick tip on how to create an Apple iTunes account without having to input your credit card information. Now, with this way, of course, you would not be able to purchase any paid apps unless you decided to enter that credit card information or um, possibly going out and buying some iTunes gift cards to load into your iPad. So I'm going to take you over to my iPad very quickly here. And uh, not set up on the right screen here. So here we go. <laughs> Here's my App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the App Store. And if you want to create a free account, the, the easiest way to do this is on your iPad. You would scroll all the way down to the bottom if you're in Featured. And you would go ahead and just make sure you're not signed in. So I'm not signed in. The way that you go about getting yourself a free account is by downloading a free app. So you want to search for a free app and begin that route, OK? So I'm going to go ahead and try here with the kids, explore great, and see what's in here. Not really sure what's a great free app, because I've probably already purchased it. So let's say maybe um, Creative Kids Games. Maybe I want to try that one out. Free, it says free. So I click free and install. It's going to ask me you know, to sign in or use a, an existing Apple ID. Well, in this case, if I want to create a brand new Apple ID, I'll click Create New Apple ID. Now, if you go this route, when you get to the point where it's asking for credit card information, you're going to get the option of entering none. So that's why we're going this route by trying to download a free app first. I'm going to go ahead and stop and fill out some information, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it'll look like when you get to that point. OK, so I've just finished filling out that first page of information here. And so when you scroll down to the bottom, if you go ahead and click the Next button, you'll see that now you get to that billing information. So you have to fill out the first page and then click Next. You get this billing information, and you have that option to enter your credit card information or None is selected. And so to create this free account, you want to make sure that you select None, continue filling out all the ad additional information, and then continue with that process. So again, the only way you're going to see that None option is if you try to download a free app first and then create your Apple ID and account, your, user, you know, your username and password, your Apple account, um, by downloading a free app. So that was a quick tip on how to, again, create an Apple iTunes account without tying a credit card to it.